Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick episode on my modding and axe series um, and today we're going to look at the handle. Um, now you've seen me rough this out already so it's, it's pretty much handle shaped already um, and all I really want to do is just sort of shape this down a bit more so it's more comfortable. Um, so that as you can see I can almost get my hand around it at the moment. Now obviously it's very square and it's quite wide which is not great for carving in comfort and sort of using an axe repeatedly. Um, so I'm just going to basically use my knife and my draw knife to smooth this down. Uh, what I've also done is I've actually put a little line all the way around the top where the head is going to sit and what we're going to do is we're going to start paring down from that line downwards um, and we're going to leave this bit of the top perfectly square um, that way when we come to actually putting the head on I can mark out the head dimensions and then very carefully sort of cut away so that we can get it perfectly fitting for the head. Um, so what I'll do guys let me just bring this camera a little bit closer in and I'll show you what it is we're going to do from there. Right then guys, so here I have one of my bushcraft knives, um, this is my Ray Miz, which I don't actually think I use often enough in these videos, um, so I'm going to be using this today, and I've also got my Mora push knife, uh, which sort of doubles up as a draw knife, um, so you can use it on the pull stroke, or the push stroke, um, but to begin with I'm just going to start off with the knife, and what it is I want to do, um, sorry about the planes guys, I've been trying to sort of film around them all day but I'm, I'm not having much luck. Um, and what I want to do is just to start smoothing down these corners. Um, now what will happen over time as you're doing this, um, as you take off one corner you'll obviously create another two, then you want to take those off and just keep going and I'm going to sort of literally take off maybe quarter to half of an inch from each side, rotate round and keep going. And as you're doing that, what will basically happen um, is that the stock will get slightly smaller, it will also get rounder, and as I'm going along, I'm just gonna sort of literally take it, hold it like this, and see when it starts to become comfortable. Um, so as I said earlier, starting from the top here, just below this line that I've marked on, I'm just gonna take my knife and very, very gently start carving off. Now you can use the, uh, the push knife for this as well, it just depends on your preference. Um, I haven't done a lot of knife work recently um, so I figured I'm going to use my knife for a little bit. It just gives you that little bit more control and I'm only taking off sort of small sections, you don't want to be taking off great big sort of sweeping cuts. Um, and obviously same with any carving, when you get down to a little sort of curve like this you've got the risk of splitting so I'm only going this far and what you can do is sort of come back up on yourself just to take those off. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do, I haven't marked it out, but this little sort of um, knob on the bottom here, which is going to be for my hand to rest on, I'm going to leave that quite thick and that's probably going to be the very last thing that I carve. Um, so, as I say, I'm just going to start taking this down just so you can get an idea of what it is I'm doing. And hopefully you can see there, we've lost that corner. Um, so we've now got a nice flat piece here and two new corners have appeared. Um, and all I'm going to do now is take those two corners and just start very, very gently, I'm not taking off much material at all, and just take those two corners off as well. Sorry about all the background noise guys, there's a lot going on in the area today. You've got some guys felling a tree and they're, they're chipping that up with a wood chipper. Um, so if the audio's uh, not great, I apologise. So just with taking off very small amounts of material, hopefully that picks up on the camera there. Um, I've now got a fairly smooth, to almost curved section here. Certainly in comparison to this, which is still very, very square. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to carry on with this for a little bit. I'm going to move around and do all four sides um, and I'll come back and show you where we've got to. Right then guys, so that's probably about 10 minutes worth of work. Hopefully that's picking up nicely enough on the camera there. We've got a nice um, sort of curved edge going all the way around. So that's now, and obviously it needs sanding, but that's now infinitely more comfortable than it was. Um, it's still a little bit on the thick side. I can kind of get my hand around it now. My thumb will meet my fingers, um, but I do want to sort of reduce this down a little bit more. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry on doing that. It's, it's, it's obviously not the most exciting topic um, to see on camera. So I'm going to um, just move off camera, finish this off, um, just get it down, pair it down to the size that I want, and then we'll move on to this piece here on the end. Right, so we're about done guys. That's uh, probably been about half an hour all in. And as you can see, we're now nicely smoothed down. We sort of thinned down a fair amount as well. Um, now that's nice and comfortable for my hand. Um, I do prefer an oversized handle to be honest. Um, it's just one of my preferences. And again, I can always thin this down at a later date if I do find it to be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so the last bit really is this little end piece here. Um, and what I'm gonna do I'm just going to sort of push the end of this into my chest here, take my knife and just very very gently start curving down some of these pieces here. Um, less is most definitely more with something like this, um, you know you're not trying to take huge cuts and very large pieces off, you just literally want to smooth it down and again I'm going to sand this handle as well. Um, I probably won't do it on this video, but I'll, I'll do it in between this and, and the next one. Um, just to smoothen it out, get it nice and ready. Um, now again, it depends on your preference. You do have the option, you can carve in um, some sort of texturing if you want to give yourself some extra grip. Um, I tend not to bother. Um, you can also get yourself like a leather wrap handle or something like that, or you can make one out of paracord, um, but that's just you know, really down to personal preference and what you prefer for your carving. I, I prefer sort of the just, just sort of natural wood. Um, I like to sand it down so that it's not rubbing, you know, there's nothing rubbing against me. Um, where are we? It's not too bad. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I just like a nice sort of natural, sort of traditional style handle finish for my axes. And that's probably about it guys. Um, I mean I've chamfered off the top edges here. They will smooth down a little bit when it comes to the sanding. Um, but all in all, I'm quite pleased with this. So that's that's the overall handle. Taking just over half an hour to go from a roughed out blank to something that I feel is usable. Um, fits my hand really, really nicely. Right guys, so we are done. Um, as you've seen, we've now got the uh, the handle nice and finished. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll sand this down, as I say, in between this and the next episode. And the next episode really should be um, mounting the head onto the handle. Um, so what we'll do, we'll pare down this top piece after marking out the, uh, the eye of the axe on there. And we'll try and get a good fit on that. Cut a little notch in, um, put a wedge, and, and we should have an axe ready for use. Um, so I hope it was useful, guys. As I said before, you know, this is quite a simple, easy process. It's the first time I've done it. Um, but it is something that I've wanted to do for a while um, and probably all in this handle has taken me maybe an hour and a half um, and that's taking out, uh, splitting out the stock, roughing this out and then sort of smoothing this down now. There's probably about 15 or 20 minutes worth of sanding in there as well um, but if it's something you're thinking of doing or you, you can get yourself an old axe head to experiment on, I um, highly recommend it. Uh, but anyway guys, hope it was useful, comments and questions in the box below, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.